ओके नेक्स्ट क्लास इज अबाउट सिंबल्स ओके इन एडोब इलिस्ट्रेटर द सिंबल पोर्शन इज दैट सो वॉट आर सिंबल्स एक्चुअली सपोज इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द इंटरफेस वी हैव साइड पैनल्स आर देर द राइट साइड पैनल्स सो हियर सी माई कर्सर हियर लुक लाइक ए फ्लावर राइट दिस इज द सिंबल पैनल सो क्लिक ऑन दैट so see here the many symbols are there right so inside uh, we have a library so these are uh, different different symbols are there first we have to understand what are uh, symbols see this one symbols allow you to create reusable graphic elements you have the flexibility to create symbols from a wide range of ob objects including shapes paths text mesh mesh objects and even raster images right furthermore dynamic symbols allow each symbol instance to have a unique appearance while sharing a common base shape changes made to the base shape are applied automatically to each instance while maintaining their unique appearance right so mm, symbols are actually what a reusable uh, graphic assets right so i'll explain clearly mm, yeah come here suppose so, mm, generally what we do if i want anything suppose this is my a flower i'm using this flower here yeah this is generally uh, if you want the same another uh, a flower so what we'll do copy and paste right no the second flower the same flower if you want what will do control c and control v or otherwise by pressing alt on keyboard and drag this so what you are doing you are copying things right so the problem is with this if you copy and paste or drag automatically what will happen your file size will get increase suppose this flower flower has some uh, size right even if it is a vector some file size is there so if you uh, copy one by one many times automatically your file size will get increase right so unnecessarily we are uh, increasing your file size by copying things right instead of that one so i'm deleting this instead of that one if you choose any flower suppose here the rose flower i'm choosing okay or otherwise any flower suppose here this flower we can choose this okay now this is the flower and if you want the same flower again so simple it is so from the library you drag and drop drag and drop see you are getting copies of that but actually these are not copies these are what instance of the symbol right this is the symbol and we are dragging and dropping instance of the symbol instance means just like uh, the shadow like right so multiple shadows otherwise multiple instance of the uh, same symbol because we are not copying symbol so automatically uh the symbol this file size maintain the same right not the big file size just like a normal copying way okay so benefit another benefit is this is a one benefit another benefit is suppose um these are i'll copy this one i mean i'm dragging their instance here and here and here and one more okay <coughs> this i'll delete <coughs> okay copy this one and uh, increase the uh, file size i mean uh, the size of the symbol okay okay now what i'll do you double click on that symbol just double click on that symbol okay you are about to edit the symbol definition 
any edits to the symbol will apply to all its instances do you want to continue yes we want to continue because we are entering into the symbol editing mode just say okay now see you entered into the symbol editing mode so make it big size yeah see this is this is what uh, you are entered into the isolation mode right because uh, when you edit something in illustrator from the group automatically it will enter into the isolation mode okay in this isolation mode or otherwise symbol editing mode you can edit this symbol how to edit because see, i want to uh, change the colors here I want to change the colors here but directly you cannot change these colors because it is what still it is in a symbol right so uh, what we have to do this is yeah what we have to do first a uh, right click and we have to uh, uh, break the symbol first okay so for that what i'll do <coughs> just a minute yeah because when i updated the size file size automatically these are also updated okay next what i'll do here mm. here i'll change the uh, i'll break the link here break link to symbol okay just symbol a break because i want to change the color directly you cannot edit the uh, symbol only after breaking the symbol it is possible right and suppose mm, i'm giving a control chat control chat so here we have a, a symbol link you can break the link here or otherwise a right click on the symbol and uh, a break the single redo break the link to symbol right okay break the symbol and suppose here you can right click on that and ungroup them so ungroup them many times because it is complex object and group each time yeah and group too. now see you can edit this a uh, color a more suppose a uh, brighter now see now it is a uh, filling colors right suppose uh, the same way you can fill all these uh, colors suppose separate separate colors so or otherwise here again ungroup them here ungroup so many times because it has different shades are there yeah now you can double click on that and choose any a dark color now see it is a changing color right so i'll uh, clear this artboard and i'll drag uh, one more yeah okay and now make it bit bigger yeah this is okay now uh, drag one more one more one more one more one more okay this i can remove yeah okay make it big size okay double click on that symbol okay save okay uh, now what i'll do i'll drag and drop this into uh, a symbol library right so i'm using entering into the symbol library so here they are asking uh, whether you have to change this into dynamic symbol or a static symbol right and again here we have movie clip or graphic so here what it is telling here mm, movie clip and graphics are tags for the flash import there is no difference between these two symbols in illustrator right so here in illustrator you can choose between this okay so for timing what i'm doing uh, changing it to a static save okay now it is a static symbol now change this one so make it bit bigger size bit bigger size and here a link the break link to symbol so symbol a break then uh, what i'll do 
select the each portion here suppose this is this is the portion and uh, you can change this color to a blue you can change this color to blue and here you can change this color to another color another color okay and if you come back from the symbol lighting mode simply you can press on the arrow mark or otherwise double click from the artboard double click on the artboard so that changes automatically there applying to the other symbols because we edited this one a symbol from symbol editing mode so automatically other symbol instances are affecting with that right so that is suppose if you uh, have many uh, leaves uh, one leaf you can edit and automatically all leaves also editable right so this is the main uh, benefit uh, from the symbols right so we delete this one and now check here we have uh, a library here so there are a lot of symbols are there uh, 3d symbols arrows artistic textures so you just click and uh, see all those things these are all right so it depends on our requirement uh, we choose right and uh, celebration pieces are there suppose you are working on any uh, subject of the celebration related suppose there is a cake right and suppose this is a cap okay and this is your crown and this is your uh, spades these are all different different uh, uh, symbols right you can make it bit bigger and now see these are so ready made things uh, these are reusable assets and you can change these colors automatically if you uh, copy one symbol and their instances if you update one symbol that will apply to other instances also right so that is this so whether you can use uh, shapes paths text and mesh subjects and even raster images right okay suppose what will happen suppose here we have a library a lot of things are there a lot of symbols are there uh, so nature related symbols are there butterflies so anything is right so this is a fish drag and drop here yeah yeah beautiful fish yeah these are all the symbols are there okay so everything almost all covered in the library but what will happen suppose uh, we want other symbol a new symbol that is not in their library symbol library what you have to do you can create because we are artists simply you can create them how to create take your uh, pen tool or otherwise use any shape you can modify them suppose here i'm using a pen tool okay see it i'm using the line tool here uh, double click on that the black line yeah suppose here mm. yeah uh, what i'll do some leaf type with the direct selection tool i select this one and you can turn this and rotate nicely okay you got this is right and change this to a uh, color green color yes and it is applied to outline actually you can reverse this one yeah, yeah this is yeah this is uh, not required the outline here okay this is my a leaf symbol right a leaf not symbol so you have to convert this into symbol so simply what you do so select this one and drag and drop here here it is asking again how to change how to export export type asking and the name and give leaf okay and here uh, export type you can export graphic or uh, movie clip there is there will be no difference in mm. illustrator okay yeah mm, yes say okay 
now it is included in your a library and even you can delete this one it is already stored in a library just you can drag and drop you can drag and and drop see you are getting your own symbol right so symbols are really uh, very uh, helpful right when you are working in a real time projects right this is all about <coughs> sorry this is all about uh, symbols then i'll explain in next class okay thank you